Oh, hi folks. <clears throat> Thanks for coming by and visiting with us again. Um, Sue and I are really glad you're coming by. i got pretty Miss Sue behind the camera, smiling at up here in front. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you guys today about muzzles. But first Sue told me I better do something. <clears throat> I grabbed this hat, just stuck it on my head here a while back. And this is a cap that was given to me for taking our mules up and putting classes on for the Search and Rescue National Convention that was held here in Mason County one year. And you know, I did get paid. In fact, I don't think I got lunch. I did get a cap. So here it is. Okay, let's today want to talk about muzzles. We, we touched on that real rapidly on uh, visit number three. <clears throat> three. When we talked about the article in uh, uh, Trail Skills and More. And I wanted to touch on it just a little more and show you a little bit more I'm talking about. <clears throat> this is the kind of muzzle we use. It's, it's a hard, it's a plastic type, really tough, flexible, durable plastic type material. Plastic covers a whole multitude of sins, and this is one of them. So, and it's pop riveted onto the, not pop, it's, it's, it's steel riveted onto the, a member of it. And it's, it comes with a strap. Now the strap I usually take off and throw away and add another strap that's longer and that I can hook a buckle to because those other straps with little slides on them, you can't put them on their heads and it's just a pain in the neck. Just go away, good way with it. But again, it's from Custom Pack Rigging, www.custompackrigging in Canada. And uh, you'll find it online and they're running around, I don't know, 35 bucks or so. And they're well worth it. The thing about it so nice is they can, you, you, when you have a muzzle, the muzzle you put on your animal you have to look at because when they're working hard, they need air, just the same as if we're running. They need air. And there's lots of air coming through this thing. You don't hear them wheezing or, or back there at all. I've had some muzzles I've tried, they're just, they don't get enough air. The other thing is you can see, you can stuff it down into the creek and they've got plenty of room in there for their beak to get plenty of water. So this doesn't hamper them from drinking. It just slows them up from eating. Now I said slows them up. Well, we've got, they're ingenious guys. And when you stop the pack string, their heads are going to be down. They're going to be trying to grab a stick, or grab this, grab that to chew on. Well, at times then that gives you a problem. That'll break your break over. So you have to break a muzzle. You just bring it home, take it apart, put it back together again. In fact, I'll tell you a story about this muzzle. Yeah, this was on this was on our Polly mule. She's a Tennessee walking mule. If, if anybody's going to get in trouble out there, it's going to be Miss Polly. She is a clown. <clears throat> I was on a, on a three day run up in the, into the Dosey Wallops. No, excuse me, the Ducka Bush. I was going up in the Ducka Bush. <clears throat> I was pulling a trail crew out, <clears throat> and um, I was coming. The, when you go to the Ducka Bush, there's a, por there's a portion of that called Big Hump. It's nothing but pure nasty. In fact, probably about, oh, 60% of the duck bush is kind of pure nasty. <clears throat> and uh, to me, pure nasty is kind of just, I don't, it's just kind of, in, 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 it's, it's risky, kind of. But if you, some people see it, they're panicked when they hit it. But I'm, I've just been over it so many times. So, <clears throat> Polly... Early on in the in the program, we stopped. She was about fourth back in the pack string, and she starts rooting around, rooting around, rooting around. I caught this this critter here and ripped it. Okay. Well, I was just about into to where I was going to spend the night, so I pulled I, I pulled it off a second on her pack saddle, and we put it away. And and then the next day when I was coming out. I'd gone in and blew stuff down while well, coming out. I saddled them all up, rigged them all up, start get put the loads on, and went around and, and decided I was going to put the muzzles on. I put all the muzzles on before we got cracking on down the road. And hell, I had this thing. And I, you know, this this could jab an eye really easy. You know, it, it, if I if I think it could happen, it's probably going to happen or it's happened someplace else, and I'm not going to let it happen. So I took this and I tied it to the back of her pack saddle. I said, well, you got lucky today. We only have 11 miles to go, and you can behave yourself for that long, can't you? Well, 
got on the and she did pretty good coming down, but she was able now to swing a nip. She was a happy camper. Well, we got to the top of the the, the uh, big hump. We started down and we did pretty good. Then we there's one spot in there. Well, I had all eight of my animals on a different pack, a bit th on three different. Uh, switchbacks and all of a sudden Monty and I turned on the bottom switchback to turn and all of a sudden we've got rocks and crud flying down the top of us these are really steep so if these all three they're really straight up and down we have rocks flying down on top of us I looked up and here was Polly she cut a corner well Polly didn't cut corners these corners were really steep, really steep cuts. Well, what had happened was <clears throat> Gus was behind Polly. Polly was swung over to take a bite of something she saw over there that she couldn't live without. It was, it was candy over there. And then, and then Miss Kitty was ahead of her and she dropped on the next switchback was slipped right down. So Polly's lead rope went around and she says, oh, and she went over to catch up and catch up was over the side. So she bails down over the side and takes part of the bank with her. Gus looks at this and says, I ain't going to do that, pops a little brick away. Rocks and crud keep flying down all over top of me. And the mules that were ahead of her. Well, there you go. There was just one more reason why I, I, like, mule, I like muzzles. If she'd had her muzzle on, she'd have trucked along going, oh, I'm going to eat, I can't eat till I get home. And I would have had a whole bunch of rocks on me. Now, if... If Gus hadn't broke away, and if Gus would have stayed tagging to her and would have, would have run down behind her, I think I had about three mules on top of me down there, on top of Mighty and me. And where Mighty and I were, there was no more. It was just all blue sky on the other side of us. So my suggestion is think seriously about these. These really work. And I want to kind of run these by again because I did give you a taste of them and visit number three. And uh, you put them back together again if they're damaged, pop rivets, just put them back together again, put the head on the outside, I mean head on the inside. Okay, well again, thank you all for coming by, Sue's waving at you goodbye, and uh, I want you to remember now, I want you to ride often, but ride safe. Thank you folks, have a wonderful day, bye bye.